Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Halt Queries. And today I'm going to show you how to install Linux terminal on Windows. So if you are a software engineer, at some point you may have to use this Linux terminal. So instead of installing Ubuntu OS, so we already have Windows OS on our PC, but some users install this Ubuntu OS. But here I'm going to show you a simple method by which you can use Linux on Windows itself. Okay. So there is an easy two step process which I am going to show you today here. So before we start our video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel all tech queries. So let's begin. So first go to this control panel using this search option. So here is our control panel. If you can see these options then change this here okay. Sometimes it is category by default. So here you can change to large accounts and now you need to go to this programs and features so the step one is enabling Linux subsystem on windows so click on this option here okay turn windows feature on off on or off okay so here you will find some features so on some systems it might take a while to load all this so if you scroll down you will see the third option from last windows subsystem for linux okay so enable this option here and click on ok so it, it is going to take some time to apply the changes and now it will ask us to restart the PC so I recommend you people to restart it immediately and then come back to this video and I am going to show you the second step after that you can easily use Linux on your PC so we are back after restarting our PC it took a while because it will also update windows so now let's move to the second step and now installing Ubuntu but I want to also add something this step is very important okay some users simply install download and install Ubuntu on their PC and they face several problems and several errors because they haven't enabled this and sometimes Ubuntu won't even run on your PC if you don't enable this option. So keep in mind that this option is very important before you install Ubuntu. And some users also enable this option after installing Ubuntu. But I suggest to enable it before itself. So now let's go to the second step. If you haven't liked the video yet, so please like the video and also subscribe to our channel All Tech Queries. So let's continue. Now you have to go to Microsoft Store. Microsoft. So you can download Ubuntu from various sources, but I suggest and I recommend you to download it from Microsoft Store because here you will find genuine version. And if you download and install from various sites, there may be chance of having virus and other issues. So now here you can search for Ubuntu or Linux. Okay, you can even search for Linux. Now here you have to choose the file Ubuntu. Okay, simple Ubuntu, just Ubuntu. It is free. You don't install any other file. Okay, you have to install this app only. And here click on Get. And if you are using Microsoft Store for the first time, it may ask you to log in or create an account. So please do so and continue from here. So as you can see, the file is around 550 MB. Now just click on open. And as you can see, it may take a few minutes. It's all right. Now here it will also ask you to add a username and password so keep your username and password ready with you so ubuntu is installed finally now it took around three to five minutes on my pc and here it is asking for new unix name okay i'm going to enter atq enter and now it is asking for password so remember that uh, whatever you type it will be not visible on the screen so whatever you are typing make sure you are typing correctly 
so I am typing the password ABCD as you can see it is not visible on the screen but I have typed it on my keyboard and click on enter now you have to retype your password the same one ABCD now click on enter again ok so ok it is successfully installed on your PC now now you can use any command to see whether it works or not so let me clear all this by using the command clear ok see it is working and ok this is this thing alright so here we have installed linux terminal ubuntu on our windows pc so uh, you might be wondering where these files are stored so let me show you that as well so here if you see on this left panel you will see linux and here you have ubuntu installed and here are all the files in the ubuntu and under this home folder you will find all the user files so under this is one user you can create multiple users here and here you can add several files and practice your linux here all right so so that's all for today guys i hope this video was helpful if you think this video was helpful then click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel all tech queries and don't forget to check out similar videos in the description so thank you for watching